Hi everyone, this is Learning with Linda, and today I bring you an update for the 2023 SNAP benefits. Guys, we have good news since three states are offering between $500 to $650 checks for low-income individuals. However, here's a catch. You must apply before the deadline. Obviously, if you don't apply, then you don't get these $500 to $650. And then we're also going to be talking about two states in specific that are going to be sending out the extra SNAP benefits. And guys, these benefits are state funded. So just something for you to remember there. And then for those of you guys that are new to receiving the SNAP benefits, Benefits. If you just recently applied, you just received your card. I also have the payout dates here for the regular SNAP benefits for all 50 states for the month of July. So make sure you guys stay until the end of this video to ensure that you receive this information. Now, before we get started, if you're interested in the latest news regarding stimulus, child tax credit, SNAP, PEVT, and everything in between, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now let's get right to it. So let's start off this video with the pale dates for the SNAP benefits for the month of July. This is specifically for those that are new to receiving the SNAP benefits. If you're curious to know when you're going to be receiving your benefit, well, here is all the information. So recipients usually uh, see their SNAP benefits reloaded on the same day each month with the date depending upon a recipient's social security number, last name, case number, or even your account number. So the first four states that start reloading SNAP benefits each month are Vermont, Rhode Island, North Dakota, and Alaska. For low-income households receiving food stamps in those four states should have received their payment on Thursday. Now guys, remember that July 4th is the only holiday that can change your usual SNAP deposit date this month. So if you're expecting a payment on July 4th, it may arrive before or after the scheduled time. So definitely something to remember, July 4th definitely affects the payout date of your regular SNAP benefits, right? Another thing to remember, if your assigned day happens to be on a weekend, then there's a good chance of receiving benefits either on Friday before the food stamp deposit schedule or the Monday afterward. And so here we have the pale dates for the regular SNAP benefits for the month of July. Remember guys that you can always pause the video if you need to take a look at this chart for a couple more seconds, right? So here we have it in alphabetical order from Alabama all the way through New Hampshire. These are the payout dates. And then here we have the pale dates for the regular SNAP benefits for the month of July for the states from New Jersey all the way through Wyoming. Now let's talk about those two specific states that are sending extra SNAP benefits that I mentioned previously at the beginning of the video. These extra benefits are state funded, which means it was the state's decision to send these extra SNAP benefits. And one of those states is actually New Mexico. So $168 will go to New Mexico um, residents who receive the SNAP benefits and they're specifically for adults over 60 years of age and also adults with disabilities. So here's all the latest information. The New Mexico Aging and Long-Term Services Department, in partnership with the Human Services Department, delivered additional food supports this month to adults over 60 and adults with disabilities who are enrolled in the SNAP program. So throughout the month of June, 7,753 New Mexicans will benefit from an extra $168 in SNAP benefits. Now the one-time increase will be issued to older adults and adults with disabilities as part of an effort to combat food insecurity throughout New Mexico. So once again, guys, it's just a one-time payment. Now the money for this increase came from the state general fund thanks to the efforts of the governor and state legislatures and will support at-risk New Mexicans with additional dollars for food support. And as always, I want to be very transparent with where exactly I'm getting my information from. So these $168 in extra SNAP benefits right here, we're talking about New Mexico once again. We're on the state website for the Human Services Department. And here on this latest um, article right here, they're saying thousands of New Mexicans received an increase, right? And I pretty much broke down the information there for you. So make sure you guys... Um, read further into this. Once again, it's on the Human Services Department. This is exactly where it was published. 
Now, another state that is also receiving extra SNAP benefits in the month of July is actually the state of New Jersey. So remember, guys, same thing with New Jersey, same thing as New Mexico. It was the state's decision to send those extra SNAP benefits. So here's what's going on with New Jersey. The state will guarantee a minimum of $95 in SNAP benefits. So in June, all households eligible for SNAP will receive a minimum of $95 monthly benefit. And if your approved monthly benefit is less than $95, then you will receive a supplemental payment to equal $95. And so the same thing's pretty much gonna happen in the month of July. So on February 8th, the New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy signed a new law that will ensure 46,000 residents who are mostly seniors and people with disabilities continue receiving a minimum of $95 a month through the SNAP program. Now, the new state-funded benefits started in March, replacing federal funding that expired in February. And then, of course, here we're talking about those emergency allotments that ended right around that time. Now, if a New Jersey household is approved for less than $95 in monthly SNAP benefits, then they will receive their regular federal benefit. Let's say it's only, um, I don't know, $30, plus an additional state supplement to bring them to this new minimum of of $95 each month. So remember guys, if you don't if you receive basically less than $95, then you're going to receive the regular federal benefit and then the state is pretty much going to make up that difference. All right, guys, so now let's talk about relief checks. We're going to start off with New Mexico, where they're pretty much issuing $500 to $1,000 checks to non-income filers. But guys, as always, the catch is you must apply. And so here the deadline for this one has been extended until June 30th. So if you haven't applied, please pay attention to this part of this video. So New Mexico taxpayers have begun receiving one-time rebates from the state, $500 for single filers and $1,000 for couples. Now, if you filed a tax return in New Mexico, no application is required. The rebate checks are in the mail for those who filed by mail and being deposited in bank accounts for those who use direct deposit. However, for New Mexicans who do not file taxes, if you don't file taxes, then you will be able to apply for relief payments through the Human Services Department website. And so I'm going to go ahead and take that right uh, that website I'll walk you right through it as soon as we're done with this information. And that also says that residents must submit their information to determine if they qualify via an online portal beginning at 9 a.m. June 12th. The portal will remain open until 5 p.m. on June 30th. So that's the deadline, guys. If you want to apply, remember the deadline is until 5 p.m. 5 p.m. I'm sorry, until June 30th. Applicants will only be accepted during this time. Now, payments will be provided to qualified households with the highest need first, and then there will be a limited number of applicants accepted based on funding availability. And now for my non-income filers, if you wish to apply for these rebates, remember that you must apply, right? First of all, to receive it. And then second, I, I want to make sure that you guys know that you need to double check that you're on the correct website. This is the website for the state of New Mexico. It's called yes.state.nm.us. It is a governmental website. And then once you're on here, you're going to want to click click here to apply for the economic relief payment. And it's going to take you to this page right here. As always, make sure you're double checking where it is you're clicking. Double check that you're on the correct website because there's a lot of scam going on right now. OK, so this is right here. New Mexico residents, once again, can apply now through June 30th of 2023. And as I mentioned previously, you have until 5 p.m. However, you definitely want to take into account that it says here that we may stop taking applications sooner if the money runs out before then. Now, if you are approved, your payment will be issued by July 31st and you can get your relief payment by check or direct deposit. Then it has further information here as to how to qualify for this relief payment. And then it's just going to ask you here, do you still want to apply for an economic relief payment? You click yes, and then you would just go ahead and proceed and submit and fill out, I'm sorry, and submit your application. And for my friends in the state of Pennsylvania, here's what's going on in your state. So Pennsylvania, up to $650 is available in rent rebate for low-income residents. But of course, as always, the catch is that you must apply. 
So Pennsylvania's property tax slash rent rebate program provides a rebate check to eligible Pennsylvanians age 65 and older, widows and widowers age 50 and older, and adults with disabilities. So to qualify, the upper income limit is $35,000 a year for homeowners. And then if you are a renter, it would be $15,000 a year and half of social security income is excluded. So the amount for renters is $500 or $650 depending on the income. So if you are a renter, you could receive, depending on your income, let's say it's between zero to $8,000, the maximum rebate for that would be $650. And again, if your income falls between a little above $8,000 to $15,000, then your maximum rebate would be of $500. And also remember that rebates will be distributed beginning July 1st. And then also the deadline, the deadline guys to apply is on December 31st. Now, if you wish to apply for the property tax slash rent rebate program for the state of Pennsylvania, you can go ahead and just type in this on Google, this title right here, and then make sure you click on the one that takes you directly to the Pennsylvania Department of Revenue, since this is the only website that you can apply for this program. Once you're on here, you're going to go ahead and click here, file your rebate application online with my path. And then once you go ahead and click that, it does take you directly to the application. It says your 2022 property tax slash rent rebate application. It also gives you some additional details as to what are some required documents and you must have those nearby and available to be electronically uploaded with your application. And one more thing for my friends in the state of Pennsylvania. So your governor, Josh Shapiro, wants to expand the state's property tax rent rebate program as well. Governor Josh Shapiro and some members of the Pennsylvania General Assembly have proposed that the state help older adults by permanently increasing and expanding the program in the specific state. So the expansion would raise qualifying household income limits from $35,000 to $45,000 and also increase the largest basic rebate from $650 to $1,000. So again, guys, this came in as a proposal and it's currently pending approval from the state Senate. Next, we have the state of Colorado, and here's what I found, guys. There is a rebate available up to $1,044 for low-income residents. It's from a program called the PTC, and it pretty much stands for the Property Tax Rent Heat Rebate, and it's now available to Colorado residents based on income, including people with disabilities and older adults to help people with their property tax, rent, and or heat expenses this winter and beyond. So the rebate amount can be up to $1,044 a year for applicants and if you apply in 2023 then you could receive up to a thousand dollars refundable tax credit so in 2023 this program could provide more than seven million dollars in relief to coloradans ensuring seniors and coloradans with disabilities can heat and remain in their homes now you may qualify for the ptc rebate if you are a full year colorado resident who is 65 years of age or older, a surviving spouse 50 years of age or older, or disabled regardless of age. Now the rebate amount is based on the applicant's income and then also their expenses. Applications for the Colorado PTC rebate for 2022 are due by December 31st of 2024. And so the PTC rebate does have income limits for 2022. And so here's all the information I was able to find regarding, um, depending on your filing status, for example, if you are single, then your income limit for 2022 would be over $16,925. Now, if you are married filing jointly, that's your filing status, and then your income limit for 2022 would be $22,858. So if you are approved and you are wondering, well, when will my rebate be issued? Well, the Colorado PTC rebate is paid on a set schedule based on when your application is processed. So if you applied before September 10th, then the payments are expected to go out in the month of October. 
And so once again, remember that in order to receive a rebate, especially for the state of Colorado, you must submit your application, right? So in order to do that, you must go to the following website, which is this tax.colorado.gov website. It's the Colorado Department of Revenue and Taxation Division. And guys, make sure you're always on the correct website because there's a lot of scams going on out there and you always want to be extra careful. So here is all the information. It's called the PTC rebate once again, which stands for the property tax rent slash heat credit rebate. And so here it gives you further information regarding this uh, rebate, eligibility requirements. It also talks about the income requirements, which we discussed earlier. And then now if you wish to apply, this is exactly where you would be clicking the PTC rebate application booklet. I did see in here that they had the online application link and they also had, I think like a PDF form if you wished to provide that in person or by mail. So that's pretty much it. Always make sure you're on the correct website. When another thing here that's important is the application rebate dates. So if one important thing to note here actually is that your application must be approved by these dates in order to receive it through the following payout date. So for example, if your application, you submitted it today were June, let's say you, you were approved by September 10th, right? Then you would receive your direct deposit by October 5th. But let's say you submitted it September 9th and your application was not approved until September 11th, then you'll most likely not be receiving your direct deposit until January 5th of the following year. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notification button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you guys next time.